I would highly recommend everyone to VOD review 30 minutes a day of your own gameplay. So we have Glitch running a AR for most of this game. He also has a frag grenade on. I've seen some people doing that. All right, this is good because right now what you're doing is you're working up. You don't see anyone left lane. You don't see anyone uh, over here in dark. So you could throw a stun grenade all the way back alley. That will confirm that no one's there. And then you could throw your frag grenade in here and that'll give you at least four seconds where the enemy isn't gonna push it, right? Um, and this will allow you to get to this halfway point a lot sooner to help your teammates on time. The enemies understand that there's really only one spot you guys can hit and that's this front door. Now, the other spots that you guys can hit is if you somehow go for a flank and you get uncontested at uh, bushes, but this yellow is usually a scary route to take. And then the other one is hitting a route upstairs and then wrapping down through the stairs. So whenever you're challenging this hill, you're going to want to do either the yellow route or the red route because this blue route is extremely predictable and most of the time the opponent's going to win this gunfight because this opponent he can be further back on this table closer in this corner laying down here he could even be in this corner right here a lot of places you got to guess so that's why you want to hit one of those routes now there's something special right here that i want you to pay attention to and that's your mini map you have a teammate up here your teammate pushed the top got a kill on the top and eventually he's gonna pinch hill, right? He's gonna drop down and pinch hill. So what you can do is you can play off of his contact. So when he drops down and he like starts shooting, this guy's gonna turn to look the other way and then boom, you can challenge right in, get that trade super easy. Here is a very simple thing you can also look for again. And this comes back to playing with your teammates. Your teammate is inside of 10. The next hill is 10. We don't know if enemies are pushing us here. We don't know if enemies are here. We do know that they're gonna be pushing in through that side, right? So probably the best thing you can do in this scenario is just get to your teammate. Because if you get to your teammate, one of you can sit in this corner, one of you can you know, like sit up top in a different corner, play off of each other's trades, that's how you're gonna win a 2v3. You're not gonna win a 2v3 like this because look how pressured you were. You, you didn't know if to aim left or right. Uh, so. That's where we just want to figure out how do we make the game easier for ourselves and also make the game easier for our teammates. Glitch, I want to talk about this because you are Mr. All-Star right here. So you understand that, you know, we're two to three dead in the kill feed. Typically what enemies like to do is they like to push out. Obviously, the more that we look at this, we're actually in a, you know, 1v2 scenario. So I'm glad that you're pre-aiming and you're pushing up. Keep doing that, right? Um, you can keep pre-aiming and pushing up all the way over here. Beautiful kill. Good job just holding, playing your life. You're not trying to push too much. And then just as you heal up, you re-peak. And this is just excellent um, centering and just playing the pace, right? You're controlling the pace of the game into your advantage. So in a scenario like this, after you already got two, three dead and there's 17 seconds left, obviously these enemies are gonna be spawning and rotating at new. So you can just get on the gun and get there so much faster, right? So like you could probably get to back lockers before one of these enemies get on barber truck and they see you cross to back lockers, right? So you understand, hey, 30, 20 seconds, I need to rotate do it because if you do it, you're probably going to get better timing on this, which is going to allow you to end up getting a nasty flank off two piece. You flip spawns and now you're prepared for P4. Good shots. Use your nades back there. Good job. Good stun. Good cleanup. That's three dead. Pinch that time now. 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 Okay. We got to pinch that time so much sooner. <laughs> so you actually have a lot of time here to pinch this, get the kill. Once you pinch time, you can then sit in a corner with your submachine gun and get ready for Hennessy to potentially push up in this left lane, right? So we just got to pick up this pace right there. James, come on, boys. Okay. So this is good. These guys were super late to pick up the pinch. They kind of don't have spawns at all. So you are in a big opportunity. All right. So honestly, you get to this position because of the enemy's fault, which is nice. Um, 
And then when you jump in for this challenge, I just wanna let you know that you're kind of like landing right where this guy expects you. And if you know that this guy is standing in this stairwell, just pre-fire it next time. So you can potentially uh, guarantee that kill for you. Uh, not only that, but just adding in the drop shot. So this is a big thing I want everyone to know is when you're flying into a hill, obviously you're jumping in. Once you jump in, also add in that drop shot. Just because now you're forcing enemies to have to track you, track you, track you, and then they have to immediately track you going down as well. And that might, you know, guarantee you uh, the win and the rest of time right here. Our teammates holding middle for no reason. No one's dead. And this is what I like to see. We just said 30 seconds. Let's just play for a far rotation for P7. This is a great rotation. You pop dead silence. Yeah, okay, yeah. So I started cringing right there because based on like 10 seconds left, this enemy should already be on time right here or he should already be half wall. I like that you're going for this cut. We just gotta have better centering and understand that he's right there. Again, you could throw grenades to make this gunfight easier, um, but ultimately, you see where you need to be centering, right? Oh, I went back too far. Uh, but ultimately, as you're running up, your dot needs to be right here, because that's the head glitch. So as you're jumping around the wall, you're gonna be aiming right on him, and you can just kill him right then and there. Uh, you were late on that gunfight, basically. Beautiful job playing for this kill because this right here is what's going to change the pace of the game. That's four dead. That's four dead right there. All these enemies are spawning over at 10 right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Ooh, I don't like that. Okay. So with four dead right there, because you were over here and your teammate was a bit closer on this side, this is for spawning these enemies more over at 10 and back alley where they're going to be... Uh, basically encouraged to try to rotate towards this direction, right? Um, you're not wrong for picking up your pinch right here. I'm glad you did. But when we pick up our pinch right here, there's some things we have to do again. You can either use your grenades and throw grenades over here to make sure no one's over there, and then you can watch your pinch. Or when you get to this pinch, just throw your grenades over here and then go pick up the front hedge right now. Because now what happened is because you gave up that front hedge, you're about to get Call of Duty timing more than likely. And this happens a lot. Um, so, again, it's a matter of throwing our grenades. Like, ah, yeah, I just don't like that. Because now what happens is, like, you kind of got lucky. Because your teammate middle said, dang, nothing's middle. All right, nothing's middle. Let me check front. And your teammate, you know, got to kill front. That's lucky. One of the enemies pushed into time, which should never happen. He won the gunfight. You got lucky. So, like, we, we got really lucky right here. And I just want to point out as well, you know, the second that you turn around to look out front again, what if you got bad timing and now there's an enemy on you? You're dead, right? Or maybe you win that gunfight and you just get three times as lucky. We want to avoid these situations um, where we have to rely on luck. But because we get this spawn right here, that just guarantees that the enemies are going to be tunnel and uh, hedges and this is where we can actually hold a full 60 because we're in a good spawn trap next time if you're in this guy's scenario so in the future if you're this guy push out middle because now you can sit middle and then you can spawn trap everyone at middle um and then guarantee spawns uh forcing a fatal funnel for your teammates ideally it just looks like everyone is like turning up right now it's three dead all right boom we got three dead right there. We have two teammates on time. They're in a 2v1. You can sit right here and spawn trap all the enemies middle right now with your AR. So, wow. Okay, dude. Yo, I am impressed right now. I am so impressed on how that just happened because you guys literally formed a line. So because you go for this full rotation over here, you guys get two people over here. Obviously, our teammates are pushing up middle. It's at this moment where enemies, they're expecting you guys to, you know, be pushing over here on the left. So that's probably what they're preparing for. Uh, so the fact that you guys actually hit this back alley surprised me and surprised the enemies um, because now you're attacking from all different angles. And you even hear the death com. He was like, dude, one back alley. Like he was shocked because I was shocked. 30 seconds left. So 
Obviously, we do need to pick up middle right here. A quick way to pick up middle, you can just jump up on top of RV, boom, you're done. Uh, but I'm glad that you're going over here for barbershop truck. That's perfect. No, no. We're on defense. We are on defense. Enemies always have to push us, so we're always in the advantage. So right here, all you had to do was get towards this barber truck head glitch. When you're on this barber truck head glitch, you're going to win this gunfight over here, and you're going to win this gunfight right here pretty much every time. So next time, get to that position right there. Don't try to play for that kill. You don't need to play for a kill right there. So right here, I just want to break down what happened in this end game because you dolphin dive across... This is pulling this guy's aim assist towards the right, guaranteeing your teammate to win that gunfight. And then when we win that gunfight, we're all stacking on time right here. And you play a perfect heads up play where you literally just follow up your teammate for the trade. You know this guy has to be weak, so you play that trade. Be oh my gosh, this is just excellent. And then right here, you're, you already just won this gunfight because you have Peeker's advantage beautiful three piece and then two of your teammates played the rotation they had a 2v1 on rotation and at this point all you really have to do is just sit middle pull out your ar and get kills at middle oh my gosh let's see the the final kd 23 and 14 that is hilarious because first game or the first half you said you're in a blender yet you end up almost double positive and it's like you know the only reason why you're in a blender it's because you really didn't have spawns or you guys just were playing the pacing of the enemies. Um, that was an amazing game to watch right there. Thank you so much, Glitch. And if either of you would like to be a part of Community VOD Review, you can go ahead and join my Discord and it'll be under Gamers Chat, com, uh, Community VOD, and then you can just go ahead and paste it right there.